Good morning. It is 7.03, February 4th, Sunday, and uh, we are still at Texas Roadhouse in the parking lot. Uh, what temperature is it? Just so you guys know, it is minus 1.6 degrees Celsius in the van, and it is minus 3 outside. And the windows are fogged up. Still dark. A couple planes left this morning. You could hear them blasting off. That kind of woke me up. Uh, it is foggy outside as well as my windows. Let's get this engine started. Get it nice and warm. Maybe you can hear the plane now. Oh, well, you probably won't be able to see them. So many clouds. So it is cranked. Time to get dressed and fly to Fort Lauderdale, where we have a three hour layover. And then after that, we are headed to Jacksonville. So today's video is going to be all about uh, Fort Lauderdale 51 good we'll have 51 percent power when we get back home two days from now so let's get dressed up and then we'll uh, head to the Buffalo Airport your bed every morning. Every morning. Gotta drink all my water too before we hit the airport. Ooh, spooky. Let's go. Everything's packed, ready to go, put away. This is my overnight bag, which I use for tonight. And then when I get back on Tuesday night. So I'm gonna shut this stuff off and I think we need to get gas first. Just wanna make sure this is off. Down to 62%, there we go. Okay, system is off. Windshield is almost clean. I think we need fuel first. Let's do that. There's the Sunoco, it's got diesel. $4.34 US. Wanna have a full tank of gas when I get home. Diesel. U.S. Oh, Tim Hortons. 
Luckily, there's one in the airport. Airport. Cool. Lots of parking choices. The cheapest one is economy parking lot. Open. Sun's coming up. Found a perfect spot for this length of a vehicle. Oh. That's perfect. Look at this. Back wheels are inside. My ass hangs over this. Perfect. Done. Jet Blue Fort Lauderdale 2465. Jet Blue's down this way. Hola, check in. Got this far. Confirm priority seating 15 bucks. Carry on bags are not permitted. Because I have one check bag. Forty dollars a bag. Definitely want the window seat. Oh right, and then I, now I'm going to Jacksonville. So either I sit in the middle at the back of the plane. All good to go. Security time. There you go. And you're all set. Thank you. Gate seven. Buffalo. Coffee beanery. Tim Hortons. Anchor bar. Two egg breakfast, choice of two eggs served with home fries, chicken wing omelet, meat and cheese omelet, two, three eggs, choice of bacon or sausage. After last night's dinner, I don't want to eat anything until later. Hello, large black coffee, please. Can I grab a sleeve? Oh, there, there. Let's go check our gate. So they charge over $4 for a large coffee here in Buffalo. That's nuts. I get it, it's because of the airport. Seven's right here, nice. Oh yeah, OG lids. And I need to recharge the phone, forgot to plug it in last night, silly me. Who loves Paula's Donuts? I do. That's our plane. Airbus A320. A. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good 
morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. Yeah. Well, you guys are running from the snow. Is that the deal? Is there any Floridians in here? Okay, there's a few of you. All right. So, you guys, I'm Gina. I'm going to be taking good care of you guys today, okay? We have Captain Dan and First Officer Rebecca up at the front of the helm. It's two hours and 45 minutes to Fort Lauderdale today. All right, I'm going to say one thing. We're going to hit some storms going into Lauderdale. So once we hit about Georgia, I am, I'm recommending everybody please be in their seats, okay? Everybody, welcome aboard. It is Sunday, fun day. You guys enjoy the ride, all right? Uh, temperature 75 degrees. So sit back, relax. We'll be underway surely. Once again, two hours, 35 minutes down to Fort Lauderdale. Thank you. We have arrived into Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport where the local time is 1.33 p.m. On behalf of this entire flight and in-flight base crew, we really do appreciate y'all flying with us today. Happy Sunday and safe travels. Let's get something to eat. Thank Thanks, you. Rebecca. Bye-bye, you guys. First time in this airport and in Fort Lauderdale, so let's try and find that restaurant I want to eat at. Not sure what that place is called. So the restaurant is called Bonefish Grill, and it's not in this terminal. It's like two or three terminals over, and it looks like I have to take a train or a tram to get there. Looks like I was wrong. It's right here. TripAdvisor has its own store. What the heck? So it's just before two, and my flight leaves at 4.45, and that's gate F3. But let's eat first. Checked out this restaurant's menu. They got some good food. Hello, just one please. That's great, thank you. Nice view. They got starters. One of the things I wanted to get was this bang bang shrimp, crispy shrimp tossed in our signature creamy spicy sauce. It's $14.99. Uh, and they've got some other pretty cool things on there. I was looking at that poke as well, the tuna poke, but I want to do the bang bang shrimp. Uh, they've got soup and greens from the grill, which I think I'm going to be getting their Atlantic salmon. I love Mahi Mahi, but I'm gonna try, oh my gosh, what a toss up. Salmon's better for you. So let's do Atlantic Salmon, which is 2209. 
Our selections are lightly seasoned, grilled, and served in a choice of two signature sides. Where are the signature sides? How are you? All right. Where's the signature sides? <laughs> Am I? Oh, there we go. I'm like looking over here. That looks awesome. Um, I'm just gonna do water to drink. And if I get to start with the bang bang shrimp, and uh, I actually think I'm, I know I'm gonna do your Atlantic salmon. Bang bang to start the salmon. Now we offer three sauces with all our protein. We have a mango salsa, lemon butter, or panache. Would you care for any or just a grilled one? Lemon butter would be amazing. Okay. And then your two sides? I guess seasoned vegetables. Okay, that's going to be just steamed broccoli. Perfect. Okay, yeah. and you get one And more. I get one more. Any suggestions? I always like to pair the broccoli with the mashed potato. Okay, I'll do mashed potatoes. Thank and you very much. You said you wanted a water and a drink? Uh, just water. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Oh, looks awesome. Wow. That's a lot of bang bang. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's the bang bang shrimp, that bonefish grill. Let me do a little turn for you. It is heaping. It, it looks like a lot. Chances are it is a lot, but it's on a big heaping bed of lettuce. Anyway, let's uh, get all those chopsticks. Start eating. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow. Juicy little succulent shrimp. Battered, deep fried. Sweet, tangy sauce. Yeah, there's a lot. How many of you guys know how to use chopsticks? Mm -hmm. Very tasty. Delicious. There's a lot on here. As appetizers go, this is a shareable one. It is spicy. Kind of tastes like, like a salad dressing. A creamy salad dressing. That's spicy. Let's pick this one right here. Let's roll that around. Does that look good? I definitely wear that again. I think the table next to me is my order it too. After this saw, how much I was enjoying it. I'm gonna grab a bunch of lettuce on this one, the second vegetable I've eaten in a month. It still tastes like lettuce. Actually having them together is pretty nice. Four more. And I am almost full. As appetizers go, that's a lot of appetizers. Thank you very much. Right on time. Perfect. Last one. <laughs> Anything else for now? Maybe no, thank you. Uh, no, this one's still going. Thank you. That was dynamite. Highly recommended. Now we're on to the salmon. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close up of this Atlantic salmon dinner or lunch, I guess we should say. Over here we got our freshly steamed broccoli, our mashed potatoes. This will be the third veggie I eat in 34 days. And over here is our Atlantic grilled salmon with a nice sauce on it. I believe it's a lemon garlic sauce or lemon butter sauce. Cleanse the palate. Oh yeah. Put some of that sauce on there. Mmm. Very rich and creamy. And taste the garlic. It's nice and flaky, like it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, nice and pink salmon. Very tempted to order french fries. 
but I was a good boy today. Mashed potatoes. Mmm. Tastes like they put um, sour cream in it. I'm not sure if you've ever had sour cream potatoes, but that's what it tastes like. Very nice. Just look at that flaking apart. What do you guys think? Is that done to perfection? Yes? No? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, ho, ho. They grilled it perfectly. Mmm. I love the way they grilled it and then the type of sauce this is. It works very well. I'm glad I ordered this sauce. A little salmon, a little broccoli. The broccoli is not overdone. It's not soggy. It's got crunch to it. This lemon butter sauce is their signature sauce, you told me. And it's fantastic. Normally in an airport, I'd have a burger and fries. But I'm glad I'm moving on. Not to say I'm never going to eat burgers again, but this is a really nice change. Full of omega-3s, which is fantastic for you. I'm going to polish this off, pay the bill, and then we'll walk around the airport for two hours. How's that? Definitely get this, though last bite of this wonderful meal. Fantastic. Um, would you like any coffee or cheesecake? Or no, thank you. Cookies? Um, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. It was very good. Not bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> the bill is here. Let's check the damage. 46.35 American. Bang Bang Shrimp was $15. Atlantic Salmon was $22.09. With their 18% gratuity is already in there. So make, that's one thing you gotta pay attention to is that it's already in. So don't tip on top of a tip. All done, time to go venture around. Have a great day, guys. Safe travels. Here's one of those uh, no employee type stores where you tap your visa, you go in and as you grab stuff like her, and she's done. It's kind of interesting. Oh, Miss Vicky's, one of my favorite chips from the past. Interesting how they know what you've taken and I'm not sure exactly how it works, but this is the American Express lounge escape lounge these little booths full bar looks like they have uh, buffet and all that stuff places to work cool full campers sports bar and grill oh there's their menu pretty big space they got breakfast stuff sandwiches salads burgers specialty cocktails starting lineup draft beer and wine lots of shops of course Miami stuff I'm not really staying here so I can't really pick up a Fort Lauderdale magnet if I ever stay here I'll get one I always love to ask you guys when you're stuck in an airport for three hours what is your favorite snack let me think what I would get you guys probably know what I would get. I'd probably get the jalapeno chips, whether it's Miss Vicky's or Kettle. I prefer Miss Vicky's, but Kettle's pretty good. Uh, I don't think I'd get any nuts. Got a huge bag. My God, who would buy that? So much. Peanut butter, that is a crazy amount of food. Candy, well, there's the chocolate bars. And again, you guys know my favorite chocolate bar in the United States. I'm looking, well, Hershey's is good. I like Hershey's. Reese's is good. I 
and they don't have any baby roosts, and that's what I would buy if I was wanting a chocolate bar right now. It looks like they got three spots in here. Steak and Shake, Einstein Brothers, Bagels, and I think that's pronounced Pai Which one would you eat at? I bet most of you guys would choose Shake Shack. Let me know in the comments below if I'm right or wrong. This is the market by Food and Wine, Fort Lauderdale. And they've got breakfast stuff too, sandwiches, wraps, salads, canned beer, drinks, bar snacks. And they're packed. I just accidentally found my gate. They got cool stuff on the floor like that. You can also kind of grab and go in here. Gate F3, gate F3, nice. You don't have to walk too far. Sometimes your next flight's in a different terminal. You gotta take trams and trains and walk a long way. We got sandwiches, got another bar. Croissants, beer. I wonder if you can buy that and like walk around the airport. Seems like it. What I'm smelling is like they're either uh, toasting some of this stuff and that's what I'm smelling. Got all the cold beer. Are you kidding? Lots more snacks. There's the baby root. Nice. This whole hallway leading to gate G is just filled with amazing art, whether it's three-dimensional like this thing, or just a painting, very well done. Watercolors. And then you got something interesting like this, where they made, I wonder if they ate all those snacks, and then said, hey, let's make some art with it. Ooh, big muffins. And this terminal goes way down that way. So it's three o'clock. I got like another hour before boarding. I've only burned 283 calories so far today. But uh, let's just keep walking, see how far we can go. We've got a Lego store. I mentioned buying one of the big sets from here. Oh, they got Ghostbusters. Check that out. The Ghostbusters. I want it so bad. And of course, Titanic. That would be awesome. This place is like up a level or half level. Interesting. Cuban cuisine. Harvesting grounds. Univision. Duty free. Casa Noble. Tequila. A tequila bar. The body shop. That place. Aliens Candy Star, Burger King, Cafe Calic, Taste of the Caribbean. This is the end of the terminal. Turn around, go back the other way. Delayed till 6 p.m. Uh-oh, that sucks. There's my gate, but mine doesn't leave until six right now. They're just doing LaGuardia. Finished my walk back to gate six. There's still, oh, there is a Jacksonville and it says 445, but on the thing it says 605. I think it's because of there's a tornado going through. So right now I just did about 300 calories. I walked a total of 5.12 kilometers, and altogether today I burned 590 calories, which was probably uh, more than that salmon meal. And that's gonna relax, cool off, because I'm hot now. Just made an announcement that we're boarding soon. 527. I am boarding group A. Nice. To avoid transporting items, Without your knowledge. Hey, with group A, as in times, they are customers who have upgraded to an even more space scene. If you're in group A, you're now welcome to board. Hello. Thank you. How are you? How are you? All right, how are you doing? Thank you. Time to go to Jacksonville. Well, Peter, you're showing up. 5A. 
little more leg room than normal. Nicer seat. I'll take it. Right at the front of the plane. Lots of leg room. Got some plugs down here. Power up. what the Jacksonville Airport looks like. Oh, you can smell that burger place, burger fi. All right, guys, that's all I have for you on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got many more videos coming up, so stay tuned. Thanks for all your support. And we'll see you in the next travel and food video.